Hello, so you started with hard surface in Blender and I want to model hard surface, so let's do that together. I'm going to be starting with a simple uh, cylinder and now make sure that you increase the subdivision up to 64 here. I'm going to be going to front view and let's go ahead and increase the height. Tab 7 here to work from mode, I'm going to be selecting the faces here. So draw your selection on these here, X and delete. Now I end up with that shape here and to continue forward I'm going to be tapping the hole here so let's put edge mode I'm going to select that loop here tap to fill and now let's insert that couple of times so to do that I'm going to go to top view now and go to count my uh, loops here so I'll press I to insert the first loop number two three and four five and I'm going to make a little bit distance here so I'll go and continue there we go. So now let's go ahead and create the holes here around that piece. So we have 64 uh, sides. I'll divide them in, uh, we need eight holes here. Okay, so the total amount of the segments is eight and you need to select four of them here. So one, two, three, and four. And now if we right click and loop tools, click on. There we go. And now I'm going to repeat that process here. There we go. So we have everything here selected. Now, if I right click and circular the components, you see that we get a nice topology here. So, what I'm going to do here, I'll make sure that the loops here are straightened. So, I'll go and pick one of the holes here. And now let's reduce or uh, tweak that parameter here, the angle. So to that point here, it should fit my needs and we should just keep the flatten here off because I wanted that to be completely around this shape. And let's proceed that. Now, before we select the edges here, I'll press X and delete the faces. And get a bunch of holes here. to get eight holes. So let's go ahead and edge mode. Now, Alt and select. All right, so I'll go ahead now, I'll support uh, everything here to apply subdivision. So I'm going to select them one by one. Right click, extrude. Let's click, I'm going to go and scale that down a little bit here. I'm going to repeat that for the rest. Okay, so we have everything here on place. Now I'm going to be selecting the circles again. I'll select the first one, let's hit and select. Or let's choose the option here, amount of faces around an edge. So that's gonna allow us to select everything here at the same time. So I'm gonna be uh, going ahead and extruding them down here from right view. I'll enter my wireframe mode, I'll enter my snap tool, E to extrude. Let's deselect the bottom here, E to extrude. There we go. Now I'm gonna design my snap tool once more, I'll go on E. Do them simple one here. I'll press E once more and I'll shift them on Z axis. So I'll press Z as well at the same time. There we go. I'll end up with that shape here. And now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna work on that side here. And the most thing, I mean the coolest thing about hard surface is that bubble here. So if you wanna make sure that you support everything here before proceeding that. So let's go ahead and show you that. And we could use an addition setting here. To go to work from mode, I'll drag my selection on them all here. There we go. I'll just select the bottom here, and we simply got them selected. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna right click and subdivide. And now, go to right view and work from mode. I'm gonna G and Z, lift that edge loop here on the side. Let's select that edge loop here, and I'm gonna be selecting the same here. There we go. So we have them selected here. I'll go and right view, G and Z, to lift them on Z axis. Now that's because I want to support that area when I apply subdivision on it. So let's uh, zoom in a little bit here and see if we could lift those bad boys up a little bit. There we go. We have everything here right aligned. I'm going to tap to face mode. I select that face here, exit the faces. Now we're going to be inserting that bad boy here. So make sure that you press Alt and Shift at the same time. And go to front view. I'm gonna be extruding that with pressing extrude. First of all, oh no, my snap tool here. 
There we go. And now we're gonna be uh, have to fill. Try to install. A couple of times here. Make sure that um, uh, that once more here and right click book the face. I'll be in on face mode. There we go. When we have that shape here done, and make sure that it's at all that corner as well, or that border, by uh, adding an edge loop here, at the bottom and the top here, and one in the middle as well. And we need one here as well. I'm gonna stamp one here. There we go. So we should be good to go here. Let's uh, do something more here. So I'm gonna select that edge loop and go to right view. I'm gonna be scaling that up a little bit more here. So let's do that once more here. I'll do my snap tool and I'll try again. We have an edge loop here, which is overlapped, so I'll go next to delete the edges. There we go. Let's um, decrease the size from right view. Amazing. So now I'm going to be stamping the loop here just because I want to make the shape look more hard purpose here. Put that on the smooth here, make sure that you increase or decrease that a little bit here if you can. And now I'm going to enable my scale tool and slide that scale down a little bit here. Simple thing. Okay, so we end up with that basic shape here. So the next step is to add a hole here as well. So I'm going to do, I'm going to select that box here. Control to edge mode or to face mode. X and delete it faces. Now I'm going to select that edge mode here. Let's go ahead and put on the axis while doing the snap tool. I'm gonna go and F and fill that by to insert. Once more, I'll insert that here and right click and put the face while being on face mode. Let's go and control R, support that core here, and that goes well. I'm gonna be supporting that here, and that's it. Now we done with the modeling here. So the last thing I'm gonna show you in this tool here that we can apply subdivision surface. So let's do that once more. We need four subdivisions here. And simply, I'm gonna apply. I'll be in object mode. There we go. I end up with a quite smooth object here. A couple of parameters here in material as well. So I'll add new, new material here. Sorry. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit darker. I'm gonna increase my metallic up. And I'm gonna try to decrease your roughness. Or increase 0.6 here. There we go. More material here. It means that we need to decrease the roughness. Object mode, I'll grab that object here, B and Z on Z axis. There we go. So we have that simple object here. Um, that's everything for this simple introduction for the hard surface in Blender. And uh, I hope you get the benefit of my tutorial. If you do, don't forget to support me. Again, drop your questions down below this video here. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have an amazing day.